Hello everyone, myself Nandini, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Tiruchangur. Today we are going to learn about subject Visual Programming, Unit 1 Topics. First one, Introduction to Visual Basic Programming. Visual Basic is a third generation event driven programming language, first released by Microsoft in year 1991. The earlier Dash version is called Basic. Basic means beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. The Microsoft has released many versions of Visual Basic. From Visual Basic 1.0 to the final version Visual Basic 6.0. Visual Basic is a user-friendly programming language designed for beginners and it enables anyone to develop guy window applications easily. Next one, Visual Basic Environment. This is also called IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. This is Visual Basic Initial Screen. Top of the screen is called Toolbar. The toolbar provides quickly access to commonly used commands in the programming environment. Next one, Menu Bar. Displays the commands you use to work with Visual Basic including File Menu, Edit Menu, View Menu, Window Menu, Project Menu, Format Menu, Debug Menu, Help Menu, and then etc. Next one, Toolbar. The toolbar is where all the controls in Visual Basic are shown and inserted into the form. Next one, Property Window, and then Final, Form Window. Forms in VB. Visual Basic form in the container for all the controls that make up the user interface. Every window you see in a running Visual Basic application is a form. Thus the terms form and window describe the same entity. Controls in VB. Visual Basic controls are the columns that aid in creating guy based applications in VB quickly as well as easily. Uh, these are things that you can drag to the type using the control toolkit in the integrated development environment. Each Visual Basic control has some buildings, events and techniques that can be made use of to modify and customize the forms to our liking. Next, controls in VB. Visual Basic has many controls. These are text box control, label control, button control, list box control, Combo box control, radio button control, check box control, picture box control. First one, text box control. The text box is used to display information entered at design time by a user at runtime or assigned within code. This control performs two functions. These are displaying output, receiving text. Next one, command button. A command button is the most basic way to Get user input while a program is running. By clicking a command button, the user requests that a specific action to be taken in the program. Next one, checkbox 